Welcome back, guys. Uh, as I mentioned, I uh, told you that I would do a video on how to configure your Wi-Fi. Now, right now, I am uh, connected to my Ethernet, but I plugged in my Wi-Fi dongle, and we are going to see if we can connect. So if I right click on the Wi-Fi uh, symbol down in the bottom right, then it will bring up the wizard. And what you do is uh, you click on wired or wireless. And that's really what most of you will be con concerned about. And then I go down to the network wizard. Now, Right now, I'm connected to ETH0. Now, I happen to have uh, two Ethernet ports. So they're configured as ETH0, ETH1, but I'm only connected on ETH0. But since I plugged in my wireless dongle, it has been recognized. So most of you, for most of you, this is exactly what will happen. The system will recognize your wireless card. Now this happens to be a dongle, a USB dongle, but the process is the same. Now if I click on that and click w, WLAN 0 and then click on wireless, it says the interfaces you selected use the RT2800 USB module which is not included in our list of modules supporting WPA. However, if you know for a fact that it does support WPA, uh, click Add to List. So I know that it supports WPA, so I'm going to click Add to List, and that's what you'll want to do. And then you'll want to click OK. Now, the next thing you want to do is scan your network. So it will scan your available networks and it's telling me I have two available networks so I'm going to select the first one and I click OK. Now I know that I have WPA2 so I am going to provide the key. Now I'm going to pause the video while I enter the uh, WPA2 key. So just bear with me. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I put the uh, key in. Then I clicked Save. Then I clicked um, Use This Profile. And it brought me to this next screen, which says puppy was able to find a live network. Now, since I already clicked on wireless and I tested my LAN, I'm going to click on auto DHCP. That's your next step. Now, it's going to go through uh, and see if it can find the server. And since I don't have static IPs, I have um, an IP address that is generated by my by my server then um, that's why I'm using DHCP now it says my my configuration was successful do you want to save yes I click done and now if I right click you can see my active interfaces are ETH0 and WLAN0. I am connected to my wireless network. And that's how simple it is, guys. Um, it's not rocket science. It's just follow the steps, step by step. So I hope that helps you. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.